Tory worker strike that's held up construction projects in the Chicago area for weeks is finally over. WGN's Christine Flores is in Countryside for us. She has more on the new contract agreement. In a unanimous vote, members of Local 150 accepted an agreement which now ends a seven week strike. But officials tell us it might take some time before we see those impacted projects pick back up again. And the quarries are, are dealing with an awful lot of traffic this morning. There's about seven weeks of, uh, of empty trucks that are heading in there to get filled. The approval of the agreement is putting about 300 of the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 150 members back to work. And at times during the strike, it's been very, very difficult to get employers to sit down for negotiations. Negotiations. There were periods of time where we wouldn't see or hear from them for a week at a time. The strike began on June 7th when heavy equipment operators who work in Chicago area quarries went on strike claiming unfair labor practices against three companies Lehigh Hansen, Vulcan Materials, and Lafarge Wholesome. The strike impacted the supply of asphalt and concrete, which then slowed down or even put several area projects on hold. It will take a little bit of time for the uh, companies to start putting stone on the ground had stockpiles of material that throughout the strike started to come down and come down until very, you know, very little stockpile left. The agreement gives those members a minimum 16.1% salary increase for the next three years. Uh, there was various economic language and that was actually the sticking point on the agreement was language that impacts the way that members are able to provide health and welfare and coverage for their families. The employers are represented by the Chicago Area Aggregate Producers Association who during the strike expressed their disappointment with not being able to reach an agreement with the union but said they were committed to servicing their customers and limiting disruptions to infrastructure projects to the best of their ability. Following today's approval, the organization released a statement saying in part, the contract ensures the health, safety and protection of our valued employees. We look forward to welcoming them back to work. We fight this fight for our members, but everybody, whether you're in a union or not in a union, is fighting against inflation and increasing cost in living. And we just want to see workers be able to keep up with the cost. of. The union tells us there will be additional increases for their members who work underground as miners, as well as some skilled heavy equipment mechanics and those members who work second and third shift. For now, reporting in Countryside, Christine Flores, WGN News.